Okay, in problem number 21, we've got a ladder problem. Uh, we've got a 13 foot ladder leaning against a vertical wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to start pulling the foot of this ladder away from the wall. And as we pull the foot of this ladder away from the wall, the top of the ladder is gonna start sliding down the wall. And what we're being asked is, okay, how fast is that ladder sliding down the wall if we're moving the foot of the ladder away at a rate of 0.5 feet per second and specifically when the foot of the ladder is five feet away from the wall. So right now I need to put some values on here of things that are changing. Okay, what's changing in this problem? We need to give variables to the things that are changing. Well, one of the things that's changing in this problem is the distance from the foot of the ladder to the wall. Okay, so let's give that a variable. I'm gonna call it X. The other thing that's changing is the distance from the ground to the top of the ladder. That's changing as I slide this ladder. So I'll give that a variable. Why? A mistake in this case would be to assign another variable to the length of the ladder. The length of the ladder is never changing. And if a value in one of these related rates problems is never changing, then you don't need to assign a variable to that value. In this case, 13 is a fixed number. It's never going to change, and so we don't need to give it a variable. Okay, so I've got this value x, I've got this value y, and what I know now is I'm interested in this problem when the foot of the ladder is five feet away from the wall. In other words, when x is five. So I know when I'm interested in how fast this thing is moving down is when x is equal to five. Okay, That's kind of my special point that I'm interested in. Well, now I need a way to relate x and y together. But I also have this other distance here that's 13. And I have this nice right triangle. And I can relate the sides of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's just write it down. I have that this side squared plus this side squared is the hypotenuse squared. In other words, I could write down that x squared plus y squared is equal to, some people would write z squared and that would be a mistake because the, this side never changes, it's always fixed, and it's always fixed as 13, so it's 13 squared. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We've got a nice formula that relates all the pieces of my equation, all the pieces in my picture that are changing, x and y. I've got an equation that x and y are both involved in. Now I can take the derivative of this equation with respect to the variable time, or with respect to t. Okay, so the derivative of x squared is 2x times the derivative of x with respect to time, or dx dt. The derivative of y squared, similarly, is 2y dy dt. And the derivative of 13 squared, well 13 squared is just a constant, and we know that the derivative of a constant is just zero. So this is zero. All right. So now I need to ask a question. Whenever I get to this point, I should always ask this. What is it that I'm trying to find? What is it that I want to know in this problem? I want to know how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall. In other words, at what rate is y changing? So y is changing. How fast is it changing? That's what I want to know. Well, how fast is y changing with respect to time? That's dy over dt. dy over dt is sitting right here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And in order to figure out dy dt, I need to know x, dx dt, and y. 
I know x. x is 5. dx dt, I know how fast uh, x uh, it is changing in distance. It's 0.5 feet per second. So dx dt is 0.5. Let me write that down. dx over dt is 0.5. And why? Well, why I don't know off the top of my head, but I can figure it out because this is a right triangle. So we use the properties of the right triangle. If I know what x is and I know what the hypotenuse is, I can figure out what the y is. So I know that x squared plus y squared has to be 13 squared. x is 5, so uh, 5 squared plus y squared has to be 13 squared. That's uh, 5 squared is 25, plus y squared is equal to 169. And so y squared must be 144, and y has to be 12. OK, so now we know that y is 12. Let's plug everything we know in at this point. We know dx dt, we know x, we know y. We can just plug all these things in. Let's do it right here. And I get 2 times x, which is 5, times dx dt, which is 0.5, plus 2 times y, which is 12, times dy dt, which is what I'm trying to figure out, is equal to 0. Now we just need to solve for the dy dt. So 0.5 times 2 is just 1. So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 24 dy dt is equal to 0. So 24 dy dt is equal to negative 5. And finally, dy over dt is equal to negative 5 over 24. And the final thing I can do here is I can say, okay, well, what is the units on this thing? What is y measured in? y is measured in feet. So this is going to be feet. And on the bottom, what is time measured in? Time is measured in seconds. So this is seconds, and so the answer to this problem is dy dt is negative 5 over 24 feet per second. And this makes good sense to us because when we look at y, we can ask the question, is y getting bigger as time goes on, or is y getting smaller as time goes on? Well, if I'm pulling this ladder away as time goes on, y is shrinking, so I would expect that dy dt would be a negative number. It is, and so I can be fairly confident that I got the right thing.